Okay, hematopoiesis, this is a very crucial topic to understand hematology or blood. So, all of the blood cells that we know and love start from the bone marrow. This is the factory that produces blood cells. So, there are stem cells in the bone marrow and the type of these stem cells are plori potent pluripotent stem cells what are the different types of stem cells that's an entirely different subject okay hematopoiesis a very crucial topic to understand hematology or blood so all of our blood cells that we know and love start from the bone marrow that's the factory from stem cells called multipotent stem cells. So what are the different types of stem cells? That's an entirely different topic which is beyond the scope of this video. For now, just know they are multipotent, which means they can produce many different cells. Okay, then this multipotent stem cells will produce a myeloid stem cell and lymphoid stem cells. The myeloid will further subdivide into four things. Proerythroblast, myeloblast, monoblast, and megakaryocyte. Okay, what about the lymphoid stem cells? They will give B lymphocytes, and T lymphocytes, and that's it. Okay, the myeloid. Proerythroblast has the word erythro, which means red, so it will give the red blood cells, also known as erythrocytes. Cyte means cell. Blast is a big cell that will form this small cell. So this is the parent, this is the child. So proerythroblast, normoblast, reticulocyte, erythrocyte. Okay, what about this one? myeloblast myeloblast will produce promyelocytes and then will differentiate to three different types neutrophilic myelocytes basophilic myelocytes eosinophilic myelocytes each of them will change into neutrophilic metamyelocytes basophilic metamyelocytes eosinophilic metamyelocytes then into the cell neutrophils basophils eosinophils if you pay attention you will see some dots here these are granules granules these spots are the granules 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 so as like those Three combined will be called granulocytes. Granulocytes. It will be important when we study a disease called a granulocytosis, which means absence of the granulocytes. Okay, but that's an entirely different subject. Okay, what about now? Now we have the monoblast. We'll change into pro monoblast then into the monocyte there is there are no granules here so those are a granulocytes okay or non granular cells megakaryoblast megakaryoblast will change into pro megakaryocyte then megakaryocyte then platelets okay take care only the white blood cells here only those white blood cells from here to here okay and those also are white blood cells those have a nucleus the others are a nuclear okay that's it so what's the function of every single cell of these so the red blood cell as you know they transfer oxygen to the tissue what about the platelets? They will help in the primary 
hemostasis, which is the control of bleeding. Okay. The clotting mechanisms. Fine. What about these granulocytes? So, as the granule, as for the granulocytes, the neutrophil will be will fight bacteria and fungus. The basophil will produce histamine. What about the eosinophils? They will fight large parasites, and they will modulate some some allergic inflammatory responses. What about the lymphocytes? The B lymphocyte is responsible for the humoral immunity and the T lymphocyte is responsible for the cellular mediated immunity or cell mediated immunity. That's it. Enjoy hematopoiesis, multipotent stem cells. Wow, that's 